me in, uh, let's say that Ben has me in his guard, and, and somehow what I ended up doing here is, you know, I, I hit him or something, I pass his guard, okay, and I have him inside control, okay? So what I want to do is I want to be able to control him here. Side control, my, my knee is at his hip, my other knee is up under his armpit, and my body is low. Do you, do you feel anything right now? No, I would not. He's not feeling a whole lot. You feel anything now? Yeah. Yeah, he shouldn't feel like I weigh about 40 more pounds, okay? It's hard to breathe, right? A little bit. Yeah. Okay, so when I do side control, my knee is here, my other knee is here, I'm going to go on this part of his head, or I can go underneath. I like to go here. I like to lock my hands here. Again, I said when you come on the ground, I always want to have either an underhook, and I have the underhook here, right? So what I'm doing is I'm taking his head and making him very uncomfortable, right? I'm pulling in here, pulling those ribs. He can tell you this is not fun, is it? Not very. No, no. <laughs> That's what I want you to do. Knee on hip, knee and uh, armpit. Elbow is on the side of the neck. Pulling over here, other elbows in, and I'm grabbing like this, okay? I'm grabbing my, the outside of my palm, so a gable grip. Just hold him like this. Ben goes to try to move. Go ahead, Ben. He can't go anywhere, okay? And the more I try to turn his head, right now I'm being kind to him because I'm, I'm not putting my elbow in his face, in his jaw, but if, he, if this guy was being nasty, I put my elbow right in his temple and I just pull him here. He cannot, his only way to escape is to come kind of to the inside but I'm going to keep holding him here. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm being a, a kind person right now, but I'm just keeping him tight. I can go behind. If I go behind his head, I'm going to take my, my shoulder and push into his jaw, push into the floor. So, so right now, I'm a real nice guy. If, he, if he's being mean and nasty, I push. He can tell you this is not fun either, OK? Um, so right now, I want you to do both. I want you to hold your opponent down here. Bottom person, try to move a little bit. Just hold them, keep them tight. Stop. Then put your hand under the other or under his neck. Same thing. Hold them tight. The the enemy here when I'm trying to control is space. Okay. I do not want to give him space. Ben comes on top of me in side control. <laughs> right now he's giving me way too much space. Here, we say, ready, go. I just push his hips up. Try to stay up here. I just, I just push his hip up and bring my knee through. Then I'm out. There should be no space. He's on top of me. He wants no space. He wants his get chest down. So this knee cannot come through. I'm going to try to get it through. I'm going to keep pushing, pushing. Now he's making it more difficult. See, he really made me work for it. A lot of times in here when we talk about control, I'll see people take somebody down. Why don't say, okay, take him down, put him in control. We'll take him down, and he'll do this. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there thinking, man, I hope that if you ever have to control someone, it's better than that, right? And again, I think it's because we're being kind to our partner, and that that's, can be a good thing. But when you take someone down and he says that in control, anybody who's my partner, where's Chris? The other Chris. Uh, do you feel in control when I take you down? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take him down and I'm gonna hold him tight. I'm gonna put my put here pressure, put my chin against him. That's what you want to do. Okay. Go with your partner.